Mr. Parker here to review a movie uh, called Bludgeoned. It's an online screener, so I got nothing to show you. Uh, it's by director Sean Burkett. He is a fellow Ohioan, as myself. And uh, let's just hop right into this. Basically, this movie falls. Uh, it opens up with kind of like this town being scared of a serial killer, his legacy opening up, showing murders and uh, headlines and things like that. He started in the 80s and he went all the way up to present time. And they go into that and show some of the murders and show some things like that. The opening's really cool. It uses a really cool song I enjoyed. And I thought this opening was uh, really well made and uh, cool. And actually kind of set the tone. It kind of seemed like, you know, the killer was kind of like a Ted Bundy type deal, the co-ed killer, stuff like that. But anyways, as the film progresses, it goes to modern time and the killer's still around, of course. And uh, we cut to the main character. She's kind of like a, a, one of the main characters. She's a pizza girl, and uh, of course, people are talking about in the parlor, kind of setting it up even more. And uh, she uh, hears about it, kind of scares her, and uh, kind of a little foreshadowing there, you know, bad omen. But anyway, she gets a prank, a pizza delivery, and she's out there kind of in the boonies in the middle of nowhere. And on the way back, uh, she almost runs over this girl. And she stops this EP, uh, Earn P. Ryan from uh, Basalt Zombies. And uh, ask her, she of course gets in the car and she tells her that she was attacked and just keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. And of course, at a turn of events, they get lost and uh, the pizza, poor pizza parlor girl falls into the hands of the killer. I don't want to give too much away, but uh, basically after that we kind of have like this, uh, mostly like a character study of the killer and things like that. See a little bit into the person's past. And uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, the movie here, after you know when they kind of are in a small area and there's only a few actors or actresses, the movie really relies on acting. And uh, Earn P. Ryan steps up and does a good job and knocks this one out of the ballpark. I thought her character obviously had the most depth and a lot to work with, and I thought she did a good job. Uh, when there is gore, it's really good. There's a really cool uh, head uh, smashing right in the beginning. I think he's using a pair of bolt cutters. The killer in the beginning smashes right into it, and uh, it's a uh, pretty pretty cool, pretty intense, a uh, pretty good stuff scene type deal there but uh yeah there's not too much death not too much ridiculous amount of gore like i said most of the action takes place in the very beginning and the rest is kind of like this uh, psychological thing that could be compared to scrapbook eric stanzi even there's a scene in here that's a lot like scrapbook in the back of the dark van you know when she wakes up and uh there's a body next to her that doesn't exactly happen but the dark van kind of always reminds me of scrapbook when i see that with a kidnapping type deal and serial killer uh relationship uh scrapbook was a really good movie and went ahead of time and this obviously uh, maybe be inspired by it or is a, a little bit like it and I, I can dig that because uh, they chose a good movie to be inspired by also a little bit of misery type deal in here but anyways uh, the film is a decent little micro budget serial killer character study that I would recommend for people of serious horror fans no comedy or anything like that no cheese it's pretty straightforward uh, Dustin Mills did the digital effects in here there's only a little digital at the end like I said there's only a little gore but one scene uses digital one doesn't I, d I didn't see it in the first one at least and it's, it's fairly decent here uh, pretty nasty stuff here like i said it's driven by the main character in this movie or one of the main characters and her acting and uh that's pretty much what it is uh there's some nice shots in here some scenery it does look familiar to me i've, I've probably never been where it is but you know a lot of ohio in that time so it's kind of cool for me to see that type uh there's a scene in the car where they're driving and it kind of causes a really nice little claustrophobia type scene deal where the camera angles are and things like that but if this sounds like it's up your alley uh check it out uh, i thought it was pretty decent uh, i would i would probably recommend it i'd say it's pretty good stuff here especially on this kind of budget they're making a pretty good movie but uh thank you very much for watching and have a good one.